Hey there, YouTube. Ladies and gentlemen, riders and non-riders alike. What's going on? Out today, weather here has been kind of iffy. If it hasn't been rainy, it's been kind of chilly. And if it hasn't been chilly, then it's been a little bit decent. But I don't know. Weather's been just really iffy. Uh, making my way in today had some issues with our uh, our family van so we're uh, we're just now I'm just now getting out I kind of take it easy around that corner because sometimes you have some track the trailers they'll spill diesel over there yeah so my van which was a 2008 Toyota Sienna head gasket blue which I kind of found a little odd but uh, yeah, what ended up happening was it, it blew off radiator pipe. I couldn't, for the life of me, I couldn't find figure out why that happened. What the hell? There's like some pieces in the road. Look at that. Oh, this guy's got a flat. Anyway, so uh, I would have took the back roads today, but unfortunately I left a little late because I couldn't figure out where I put my rain pants because I have my uh, Viking Cycle rain suit on. So I think it's Viking Cycle, in. Eh? Yeah, it should be. But yeah, I couldn't figure out where the heck I put my rain pants. I don't know where I put them. I was looking for them, but I just couldn't find them. So. I was like, all right, well, you know what? I found them. And by the time I was ready and everything, it's like a little too late. So I was like, you know what, whatever. I'll just take the highway. So I was searching for a car. Um, looking, I was, I was actually checking out Carvana, where you can buy the car. You know, of course, it's probably just kind of a set price. You can buy the car and um, they'll actually bring it to you. So I thought that was kind of cool. I mean, you can pick it up too, but you know, they'll sell. They, they said that they would bring the car to you. So, but anyway, it, it's not really the matter of that of them bringing the car. It's, it's I kind of just don't want to. I don't feel like dealing with the haggling with the dealer. And, you know, I almost feel like I, I feel like I'd just be happy with searching online, getting a good deal and uh, making a purchase like that. You know, even a, a decent deal I'm happy with. Most of the cars that I've been seeing for what I'm looking at, I was looking at the the uh, Honda Pilots or the Toyota Highlanders. I even see the Dodge, what is that called? Is it the Durango? I think maybe it's a Durango. I forget the name of it. I think that's what it is, Dodge truck. Um, those are pretty nice, man. They've come along really, really nice. So, and they've got a lot of the features that, you know, you tend to be looking for. And, and some of them even come with a really nice uh, hauling package. So, yeah. So, you know, I was, I was looking into that. That could be an option. It could definitely be an option. But, uh, ooh, we'll see. Take a look and see what we can get our hands on. You guys like going to a car dealer? How do you guys feel about that? You know, I mean, I, I did it with the Honda when I bought the Civic. You know, I did it with that car. You know, I shopped around. I went to a couple of dealers. I test drove them. And then after a while, you kind of realize that they all just felt the kind of the same. The only thing was uh, certain interiors I liked a little better than the others. Uh, certain color interiors. So... You know, I, I favored the darker colored interiors over the lighter. But, uh, you know, that's just a personal thing. And then after that, it was, uh, you know, the price of the car, which I didn't mind. But the only thing that I didn't like is that they had these stupid little fees that they put in. So, you know, that made me realize that 
you know, I, I negotiated the price of the car off. You know, the way that I should have negotiated it was, all right, what's my out the door price? That's what I want to know. What's my out the door price? And then look at everything that they got to put on there. Everything. Any and everything they put on there. And like, hmm, no, nope, um, nope, I don't want to pay this. Uh, you know what? This is what I want the car for. You know? And then you kind of just go from there. You know what I mean? So, yeah. That, I learned that from, from that experience. I, so, I haven't, I only bought one other new car before. And, and that was the, uh, well actually the van we bought, it was two years old. And my other Honda, I bought a 2008 Honda Civic and I bought that, that was brand new. And they worked with me on the price, you know, really nice guys. Uh, sat there for a while with them, talked with them, and man, they really worked on the price. In the van too, man, the van, the guy gave me a really good price. Really good. So, you know, for what I paid, I only paid uh, 14000 for the van. I said, you know, we got 255,000 out of it. You know, these uh, these Highlanders and the uh, and the pilots, man, they're going for upwards of of 30 to 40. You know, they've got a little they've got a little price to them. So this guy following really close. He's trying to space this guy out because the bridge is hard to break on. You know, you have these metal dividers and you can't break over a metal divider. At least I don't think so. I could be wrong. So I put, uh, I bought this plastic Rain-X, right? Because I know Freedom Shield said that you could use Rain-X on the windshield. So I didn't want to use the glass Rain-X. I figured I would use the, the plastic, right? So I ordered it and, um, and I put it on. I don't know. It seems like it works all right, I guess. I, I used it another time I rode to work when it was raining and I wasn't, I, I can't tell you, I was very happy with it. I felt like it, uh, I don't know, it kind of felt like it wasn't really doing what I thought it should be doing. So, I kind of thought that was a little odd. But, uh, like the water wasn't really clear. It wasn't clearing off of the shield. It was just staying there. I don't know if it's my angle, the angle of my shield or what, but you know, that's pretty much what it was doing. Anyway, uh, that's pretty much what I wanted to talk to you guys about. Uh, this video is going to be in 4K, which would be a bear to edit. Usually I film in 2.7K, but I figured, you know what, maybe I'll try, uh, Maybe I'll try 4K just to see what it's like. That's not an all the time thing because this is, it's just really, it's a really heavy file. <clears throat> it's a heavy file and it's its not easy to edit, you know, so. All right, let's just get through this toll plaza here, which is usually very oily. Middle lane is always oily. You can see the new position that I put for my uh, easy pass, which is nice. It's really nice. I like it there. It helps a lot. All right. this way for a bit and uh, mainly because uh, the van was acting up so I took her out with me oh man did she love it <laughs> she couldn't get enough man she loved she loved getting out on the bike with me 
uh, I took her off to her gymnastics class and then after her gymnastics class she's like oh daddy can we go to can we go across town to to, to get a, a ice uh, ice caramel latte from McDonald's and if this McDonald's this, this one is like all the way across town like 30 minutes away I was like all right you know I knew we could get there and get back home before sunset because uh, when the sun drops you know it, it gets it's, it gets really cold up here we still haven't we still haven't had many warm nights maybe one or two you know and it's May so you would think it would be starting to get you know a little warmer but man I think it's only gonna be warm maybe June and maybe July that's about it which kind of sucks but I don't know it's just the way the cookie's gonna crumble there's nothing we can really do about it you know just gotta just gotta take it for what it is I do have my uh I have my Tourmaster five season jacket in the back. So later on tonight, that's what I'll put on with my sweater. So. Very windy today. I was actually thinking about getting another another uh, all season coat or at least more towards the winter side but you know what I've been wearing my my five season for a while now usually the mesh I would wear once it gets warmer but I don't think it's gonna really start getting really decently warm till maybe next month looking at maybe June or July June and July will probably be our only warm months and then half of August and by August it starts to cool down so but I still been out getting some rides in here and there as you know as best as I can and getting around heck a bunch of stuff in the back of that truck you know that's another thing man I would love to you know the other day I was looking at some campers and stuff like that and I was like man you know I would love to to have a nice camper. I mean, and but you know, the only thing you need a truck to pull it with, like an F-150 Silverado or something like that. And then you know you need like the four-door truck. You can't get the two-door because you know if you gotta carry your kids with you, they're not gonna be comfortable in that. You know, the pull the, the pull-behind camper they call them. Of course, you could also get the the driving the RVs you can get those too you know they're like about mm, maybe 90 90 grand 100 grand but you know when you look at the prices of the pull behind the pull behind is like 70 80 right and then you gotta factor in right that you need to you need to um have the truck so for you to go out and buy a truck now that's gonna be about 40 you know what I mean? So, you know, I mean, the pull behind is what I said. A pull behind, pull behind is like about 50 grand. You get them for it. You know, that's on the on the, the moderate, moderately cheap side. You know, a little bit higher of the cheap side, like 50 grand, 55 grand, somewhere around there. You can grab one. You know, but uh, yeah, you know, that's been something else I was thinking about, and I really would love to entertain that. But uh, I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, guys, I'm going to end it here. I'm going to pull off and just finish cruising into work. Another day we'll get out and we'll continue our vlog. All right, guys, you take care and stay safe.